Hello everyone, welcome to Learn My Flow. In this video, we'll look at another liquid problem that is reverse words in a string. And this is a third type problem. We'll understand what this question is working, asking us to do. So firstly, this is an easy type problem and obviously this is an easy type problem. So before moving on, if you haven't subscribed to Learn My Flow, make sure to subscribe to Learn My Flow for regular lead code videos like this. The question says we are given a string S Okay, that's a string is given to us as a input, and then we need to reverse the order of characters in each word. Okay, it is important. Reverse like order of the characters in each word. Okay, this is important. We need to do it in each word. Okay, within a sentence while still preserving the white space and initial word orders. Okay, so why we need to preserve this? So what exactly they mean? Let's see this uh, example too. So God and Ding are the two words are there. So we need to reverse the order of character in each word. So in God, we need to reverse the order of characters that becomes D-O-G. Okay, look, G was in caps. So here also G remains as in caps, okay? Now, Ding was like this, and then we are reversing this, and this becomes G N I D so D I N G in the reverse order. Okay, so what exactly we are doing? We are reversing each of the words. So whatever each of the words we are getting, we are reversing that. Okay, and we are preserving the white space and initial word order. So what is that initial word order? That is a uh, caps and all. Okay, the order, the the whatever the order are there. So God was initially first. So the order remains exactly like this. Like, go, uh, like the reverse of God also remains in the first uh, place. Fine. So that is the initial word order. The initial order was God, then Ding. So the reverse of God, then the reverse of Ding. So that's the reverse order. And what is the white space being uh, stored? See, when you look over here, uh, you'll see the white space between God and Ding is being maintained equally. Fine. That's what they mean. We need to reverse for each of the words we have while preserving the white space and initial order. So now the question comes, how we should do that? Okay, so the first thing is we should traverse this whole string. Okay, this whole string we should traverse and how, what we'll check for? We'll check for the space. Whenever we find a space, all the letters, like we, we will have another pointer starting from zero. So all the letters before it should be uh, reversed. Uh, take it a different function reverse because that we need to do multiple times. Fine. Then we will move our uh, uh, initial pointer that is initially marked at zero. We will move to our current pointer uh, plus one, like the next character. And then we will keep checking for next space. Once we find our next space, we will reverse this uh, initial pointer to the end pointer, the start to end pointer, and then reverse it. And then move our start pointer to our, our next character after our current pointer, okay? And similar way, well, again, we find the space and we reverse it. Now, there's a catch, there's a uh, like a, a condition over here, or you could say there's a, there's a by case you need to look for, is like the last character, okay? After like the last word, say in this case, like contest, you don't have a space after that. Right, so you don't have a check space after that. So you need to know that uh, how you do uh, find an end to that because the all other words will get changed by the condition by the uh, process we are talking about, but not the last uh, character. So what we can do, we will simply uh, say if it is not a space or it is a last character of the whole string. Okay, if it's the last character of the whole string, then we should uh, reverse it. So that's the idea. That's the whole idea. Fine. So that's how we should go ahead with it. So it's pretty simple, it's not hard as it's the, the question also says it's an easy type question. So let's quickly go ahead and write our code and then understand uh, what we're thinking and how our thoughts can be uh, shown in the code as well. Okay, so let's quickly go ahead with that. So 
So it's more or less a 7, 8 ms solution. And that you can see over here. So what exactly we did with this, uh, we uh, like first converted our uh, string to a character array, fine. Then traverse through the whole character array, fine. And whenever we find, like initially you can see the start is pointing at zero. So whenever we find a space, okay, a space that is the end of a word, we simply called our reverse function, a reverse function we will discuss. In that we passed our start, our current j minus one, current, because currently j is pointing at this space. So j minus one would be the last character of our word and our array. And then after this reverse is done, we have simply moved our start to j plus one. Okay, so this is what we did. And for the else case, else case is if j becomes our last element in our uh, array. Okay, in that case, we don't have a space additional at the end. So what we did, reverse start j, not here j minus one, because previously j was pointing to the space. So we are uh, like uh, sending j minus one, but here j is pointing at the last character only. So we are sending uh, reverse j, okay, start j and then uh, our array. So after this reversing is done, we simply return our uh, new string array. Okay, we just called, uh, made a new string for our uh, character array and return that, fine. So further, if we look, uh, if we look what we are doing in our reverse array, in the reverse array, we got a start, end, okay, and our array, and we look for a while start is less than end, fine. Now, what exactly we're doing? We are just swapping the elements, like uh, start and end, are the elements we're swapping one by one. Once the swap is done, we are like, that's what we're doing in our reverse function, right? We took the start in our temp and the end in our start and then temp value in our end and then incremented our start and decremented our end. Okay, that's just uh, uh, swapping from both the ends. Fine, so that's what we did. And that's how you, uh, and as you can see, that's uh, uh, how the code works for us in this case. Fine, so that's more or less about this video, guys. So you can see like uh, this lit code has this uh, stupid problem. Sometimes it goes with 7ms, something goes with 8ms, it's like goes on its own. Fine, so that's more or less about this video, guys. I hope I can make you understand how you can solve this question. and. Uh, after doing this, like if you have any doubts or related to this, you can post them down in the comments as well. I'll be happy to help you out in the comments as well. So uh, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for regular late code videos like this. So thank you all for watching this video. Hope to see you soon in my next video as well. Thank you.